Hello friends, welcome back to another awesome day. Day 67 of the 100 days of algo trading with Python. In this video, we will try to understand some very basic terminologies in the machine learning so that we will be clearly able to differentiate between different terms. So first of all, we have algorithm and model. So an algorithm in machine learning refers to the procedure set of rules used to learn from data and optimize a model. Right? It is methodology that defines how a model process input data and updates its internal parameters to improve its performance. For example, linear regression algorithm, decision tree algorithm, k-means algorithm and gradient descent algorithm. Whereas a model in machine learning is the final product that results from applying an algorithm to a data set. The model is essentially a mathematical representation of a system that has been trained and can make predictions based on new unseen data. For example, trained decision tree model and trained neural network model. Now, let's understand what is linear regression. Linear regression is a statistical technique used to find the relationship between variables. So what are variables? We know that when we have a table and let's say in one column we have a exponential moving average and on one column we have price right so it could be let's say 10 then the price will be 12 it could be let's say 15 then the price will be 13 when 20 it is 14 so these are variables right so this ema can be assumed as the independent variable and this price can be assumed as the dependent variable right and when we have a linear relationship between two variables we can consider that as a straight line right this one and this is x and this is y and the equation for straight line is mx plus b so in linear regression model we try to find the relationship between the y x and b right the impact of these uh, parameters x and b on the y that is the output correct and here you can see on the screen that these blue dots these blue crosses are the actual price which we have taken from the existing data right so this x axis is the 10 day moving average and this y axis is the stock price so after plotting all the values from the data what we do in linear regression we try to estimate or we try to predict the price and in order to do that we draw a line this line is known as the regression line and that is also known as the best fit line best fit or regression line correct now we know that ideally this line should go like this right to here then here then here 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 it is not possible so what we do we try to draw a best possible line or the best fit line which is nearest to all of these points okay so now when we have only one dependent variable and one independent variable we can write the equation as the y equals to mx plus b in which y is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable y is the output or you can say y is the price let me write here let's say you are trying to make a model which can predict the prices of a stock so y can be the price and x here can be any feature it can be like moving average it can be uh, rsi it can be any other indicator right so let's say it is the uh, exponential moving average so here this is the x right and this is the y which we are trying to predict so we can draw like this x and y and it could be a straight line uh, for the sake of example the simple linear regression we can draw a straight line right and these are the actual prices and this is the best fit line or the regression line correct now similarly here we have only one feature only one input or only one dependent variable but in real life we have multiple features so let's say to predict the price which is uh, y uh, we can use rsi we can use uh, ema we can also use vwap like so here we have x1 x2 x3 these are three features or three inputs or only one output or it is also known as the label so this is the equation for multiple linear regression 
okay now let's draw a best fit line with residuals so we have seen that these are the actual prices correct and in linear regression what we do we try to draw a best fit line right but we know that that is not the ideal so what we need to do we need to find the error or the residual so and what is that that is the difference between the actual value and the predicted value right so let's say this is y i and this is the y i hat y i hat so what it will be let's say it is d1 plus d2 up to d i right and we know that it is on the both sides right so in order to remove the direction what we do we just square the distances and we know that it is y1 minus y1 hat square up to y i minus y i hat square and we can also write this as summation of i1 to an y i minus y hat square and this is known as the loss function loss function right and when we talk about the cost function what we can do we can simply divide this by the 1 by n you can see here the cost function is the average of the loss function over the entire data set it represents the overall error for the entire model in a sense it aggregates the errors across all training examples right this is the cost example which means the distance the squared of the distance from the actual and the predicted value correct okay now what we can do we always want to reduce the cost right reduce the loss so in order to do that what we do we have few techniques and one of them is gradient descent so with the help of gradient descent what we do we try to minimize this cost so what we'll do let me rewrite this equation let's say cost function is j right and let me write i equals to 1 to n and here y i minus i'll just replace this with we know that y i hat is equals to mx i plus b right i can write like this mx i minus b whole squared and we know that this j is the function of m and b so i'll write like this right so here what we can do in order to minimize the value of j or the cost function we can tweak the value of m and b and what is the m and b here m is the slope and b is the intercept right so let's understand the gradient descent so gradient descent is an optimization algorithm used to minimize the cost function by adjusting the model's parameters it is widely used in machine learning especially for linear regression and neural networks to find the best fit line or the hyperplane now there are two new terms what is the parameters so what are the parameters here these m and b are the parameters right so we can tweak these parameters and we can get the value of j as required like the minimum value correct the cost function right okay now let's understand the difference between parameters and hyperparameters so the example of parameters is weights biases and decision boundaries so we know that this weight and bias is nothing but let me write the equation y equals to mx plus b so here this m is the weight this b is the bias and y is the prediction this x is the feature value or the input correct now what are the hyperparameters these are the values set before training to control the process so the learning rate the number of layers and the batch size okay so let's understand few more things about the learning rate so we know that this j is the function of m and b the slope and the intercept so in order to find those values what we will do we will differentiate these values right we will do a partial differentiation so we will do two times one with respect to m and another with respect to b correct and we know that the differentiation is nothing but the slope this let's say dj by dm or dj by db right so this will be for the m parameter and this will be for the b parameter which is intercept so now in gradient descent what we do we take a in step one we take a random value anywhere right let's say here and here we try to find the cost function j so the beauty of 
gradient descent is that you can take any random value if your learning rate is correct then you will be able to reach the minima so the definition of gradient descent is that it is the first order optimization technique to find the local minima of a differential function and visually when we see we know that this is the local minima but for the machines it is not possible to visualize so what they do they use this technique gradient descent and they always try to go towards the uh, minimum value of the cost if you take the learning rate as correct then you will be able to reach there easily and this is known as the step size right what we'll do let's say we have b new will be the b old minus learning rate into slope similarly m new will be m old minus this is the learning rate into slope so these were the basic understanding in this video and this is it for the session i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day